welcome to Fenway Park here in Boston, Massachusetts, as we're here to take on the Red Sox in Game 3, the 2021 ALDS. On the mound for the Red Sox is their ace, Eduardo Rodriguez, making his second start of the postseason, and that's the lineup he'll be going up against with Teoscar Hernandez taking over in center field. Third batter up is Roddy Telez, who's going to ground out to the shortstop Bogarts, who turns into it turns it into a double play to end the inning. On the mound for the Blue Jays is Sean Yamaguchi, making this first appearance of the postseason. In the bottom of the third, it's Jesus Aguilar hitting a no-doubt shot over the monster in left field for a solo shot. And just like that, it's 1-0 Boston here in the third inning of Aguilar's first of the postseason. Top of the fifth now, Danny Jansen hits a solo shot to, to center field. A no-doubt shot absolute moonshot and he ties the game at one with his first home run of the postseason still in the bottom of the fifth man on second Guriel works the walk two men on for Roddy Telez who gets hit by the pitch in the elbow so that the base is loaded two men out they'll then do it for Eduardo Rodriguez and now they would bring in Nathan Evoldi for Vladimir Guerrero Jr. who's gonna fly out to center field that's Taylor makes the play and that's the inning Top of the six now, Evaldi still on. He's going to give up a no-doubt shot to Teoscar Hernandez on the cutter inside as Hernandez does not miss it. And he gives the Blue Jays a 2-1 lead. Two man on for Vladimir Guerrero Jr. who's going to hit a loop fly ball to center field. A run does come in the score. It's an RBI single for Guerrero Jr. and it's 3-1 now. Marcus Walden will then come in out of the bullpen for the Red Sox. With the bases loaded, it's Rano Grichuk hitting a moonshot to left over the Red Monster for a grand slam home run. His first home run of the postseason, and it's wide open now. It's 7-1. Still in the top of the seventh, Hernandez works the walk. Kevin Biggio is going to hit a ball to left field. That would be Benintendi there to make the play, and that's the inning. Richard Blyer will then come in out of the bullpen and at the bottom of the eighth with two men on. It would be Andrew Benintendi, or sorry, Alex Verdugo hitting a ball to the right right field wall, off the wall. Two runs do come in the score, and it's a 7-3 ball game. Still man on second. Here is Verdugo. That was Benintendi last at bat, excuse me. Verdugo loops one into left center field, gets down for a base hit. A run does score, but Verdugo gets tagged out at second to end the inning. It's 7-4 now with Rin and Ken Giles looking for the save here in the ninth. First batter he sees, Xander Bogarts, strikeout, slider away. Second batter, J.D. Martinez, ground ball to Bichette at short. Over to first, in time for the second out. And the third out will come from Rafael Devers, who's going to strike out on a slider inside to end the ball game. The Blue Jays beat the Red Sox here in Fenway Park, here in game three, by a score of 7-4. to four. The winning pitcher would go to Sean Yamaguchi. The losing pitcher does go to Eduardo Rodriguez, and Ken Giles does get the save. Player of the game would go to Rana Grichuk with the Grand Slam. As we're here for Game 4 here at Fenway Park, as the Blue Jays look to close out the series. And on the, on the mound for the Red Sox will be Daniel McGrath, making his first appearance of the postseason. And the lineup he'll be going against with Mikiszewski retaking the reins in center field for the Blue Jays. And then on the mound for the Blue Jays would be the young left-handed pitcher in Ryan Barucki, making his first appearance of the postseason. In the lineup he would be going up against is on your screen now. Benintendi, Verdugo, Bogarts, Martinez, Devers are the mainstays in that lineup. Bottom of the first with a man on, be GD Martinez grinding out into grinding out to short Bachette to end the inning. Bottom of the second, that would be Raphael Devers getting a base hit up the middle. So man on first, bottom of the second, nobody else. Jesus Aguilar in a 1-2 count, just going to hit a ball up against the monster in left field. That would be deep enough, deep enough to score the run all the way from first. As it's, it's a one RBI double for Jesus Aguilar here in the bottom of the second inning. one nothing Boston. Man on second still, it would be Michael Chavis hitting a ball to right side. With the zero speed, Aguilar at second would not be deep enough to score the run. So man on the corners, one man out. For keeper Ruiz, he can get a base hit to right. That would score a run. It's 2-0 Red Sox here in the bottom of the second inning. 
The hit and run would be on as Ben Teddy swings and misses, and he'll throw out the man at third for the second out. And Ben Teddy sells the plate, which strike out on a slider away to end the inning. Missed opportunity there for the Red Sox. Top of the third is Kevon Biggio hitting the ball to the left field. Ben Teddy would be there to make an attempt at a diving play, but could not get the ball in the glove. And with that, he would be injured and would be out of the rest of the game. A pair of shoulder is is the fear for the Red Sox as Kiki Hernandez takes over in the leadoff spot and in left field for the Red Sox. Danny Jansen at the plate would hit a ball over the Red Monster in left center for a game tying two run shot. His first, his second of the playoffs, it's two to two. Lourdes Gurriel wanted to get the Blue Jays the lead with a hanging changeup over the Monster in left field for a home run and it's three two Blue Jays here in the top of the third inning. Of a hiss, his first home run of the postseason. It would then be Kiebert Ruiz hitting a ball to the second base in Biggio for a 4-6-3 inning ending double play. Top of the fifth now with Lourdes Gurriel with a man on third hitting a ball into the right center field gap. As the run does come in the score, it's an RBI double for the left fielder Gurriel. It's now 4-2 in the top of the fifth. Ruddy Telez now would hit a ball to the left center field gap this time. Gurriel hesitated. So he would not score all the way from second, but it's men on third and second with one man out here in the top of the fifth inning. As I'll do it for McGrath as the, as the Red Sox once again bring in Nathan Avaldi. Edward Encarnacion will then strike out on a splitter down and away to end the inning. Then Bogarts would then hit into a 6-4-3 inning ending double play. In the bottom of the fifth, as we go to the top of the sixth with a man on. For Danny Jansen, who's going to get a base hit up the middle. The runner would score all the way from second, as the Blue Jays have a three-run three run lead in the in the game. With men on corners and one and two men out, it'd be a base hit up the middle to bring in the run. It's five to three now. Still in that same inning, Josh Lindblom will then give up a hit to Keeper Ruiz, as the runner tries to score all the way from second, but Lourdes Gurriel would throw him out at home to end the inning. Marcus Wallen would then come in out of the bullpen for the Red Sox with a man on. It'd be Vladimir Guerrero Jr. hitting a loop fly ball to right. Looks like it's going to go fair, but it stays foul and bounces over the wall for a ground rule double. Base is loaded now for Mike Yastrzemski, who would hit an inside cutter to the second base from Chavez over to first in time for the out. Sam Toy Viola would then come in out of the bullpen for the Blue Jays, and he would have a 1 2 3 inning as, as Bogarts would fly out to the right fielder Grichuk to end the inning. Top of the eighth now, David Hernandez would then come in, making his third appearance of the postseason. And man up first is Danny Jansen, hitting ball to the left side, Devers, who could not pick it up cleanly, but recovers in time to throw out Jansen at first. With a man on second, Bo Bichette would work the walk. First and second, one man out. As the Red Sox were bringing in John Breba, out of the bullpen for Rowdy Telez, who would get a base hit up the middle. The runner would score all the way from second as the Blue Jays restore their three-run lead in the top of the eighth inning, it's 6-3. Guerrero Jr. would then fly out to the center fielder T Tyrone Taylor to end the inning. We're in the bottom of the eighth with Chua Viola still on. He would, he would give up a solo shot to Rafael Devers as he's going to hit a no-doubt shot to right. Get the Red Sox within two. It's 6-4 to four now. Off the solo shot from Devers, his first of the postseason. Michael Gibbons would then come in out of the bullpen, looking to get, into, get the game into the ninth. First batter he sees is Hagius Aguilar, who would then hit another no doubt shot home run to left field this time. It's a one run ball game here in the bottom of the eighth inning. It's six to five now. Off of Aguilar's first home run of the postseason. Gibbons would then recover as he gets Kibu Ruiz to fly out to the right to the Grichuk to end the inning. As we're gonna go to the to the ninth now with Ken Giles on the mound. Looking to close out the game and get the save. First batter he sees, Kiker Hernandez, strike out, slider away. Second batter he sees, Alex Verdugo is going to fly out to left center. That would be Guriel there under it to make the play for out number two now. Red Sox down to the front now for Abdiano Bogart. He can get a base hit up the middle. Red Sox have the winning run at the plate with two men out in the bottom of the ninth. It would be J.D. Martinez and a 1-2 count, strike out, slider away. And the Toronto Blue Jays defeat the Boston Red Sox here in Game 4 by a score of 6-5 and advance to the ALCS for the first time 
since 2015. What a year it's been, what a team it is. The Blue Jays defeat the Red Sox in four games, three to one, as they win both games on the road. The winning pitcher would go to Ryan Barucki, and the losing pitcher does go to Nathan Avoldi. And the save goes to Ken Giles. The player of the game would go to Vladimir Guerrero Jr. As I said before, what a team, what a year it's been for the Blue Jays as they look to move on to the World Series as we are going to face the Los Angeles Angels in the ALCS. Tune in for games one and two in the next episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been the Toronto Blue Jays franchise. See you next time.